Hi everyone, I have a great project for you today and we're going to be doing watercolors. So watercolors is a very different medium than anything that you've done before. Um, in your art pack, you've been given a set that looks like this. Here are your paints and here are your mixing wheels in here. Now, your set came with a brush, not the best brush, but it's okay to start with, and we're just gonna do some fun things to get the basics down today. You'll need a pencil, your watercolor paper, and that's the paper that feels a little bit like cardboard, and it has kind of a dappled surface to it, and one side is smoother and the other side is kind of textured like canvas. Now, I'm going to let you make up your mind and use either side. But for my painting today, I'm going to use the textured side. And for the last part, you can either make your circles freehand with a compass or I'm going to use just some lids here that I've got that I'm going to trace on here as my circles. So I've got this little silver lid and I'll let you go get your equipment while I show you the next part. Now the first part is that I've drawn these circles and I've added water to my paint and I've dropped it on while the surface is wet and let the paint spread out. Watercolor is painting with water. It's not just like painting with ordinary paint. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. And we can see all these fabulous little things. This is kind of like leopard spots in here. And this is pretty cool right in here. Okay. Now our finished project is gonna look something like this. These are the designs that I've drawn on with a fine marker, but we can use the markers that are in your set to make designs and patterns on top of our circles. And when you look at this color scheme, here's your question. Can anybody identify the color scheme that we're using in here? Well, we can go two ways. We can say that they're either cool colors or that they're analogous colors. And analogous colors are three to five colors beside each other on the color wheel. So if you want, get your stuff together. And one more thing that I'm going to ask you for, get two large containers of water. Make sure that your workspace is somewhere that's set up properly for you so that you have enough room to be comfortable you won't be tipping your water. And I'm using two large yogurt containers for my water because it's pretty important to have a lot of clean water. Have lots on hand and some paper towel to blot your brush on, and that's pretty important. Okay, so one more time, you're gonna need your watercolor paper, your brush, a pencil, your watercolor paper, or your paints rather, with the palette. Now you can draw your circles freehand with a compass, or you can take something to draw your shapes with. You'll need water and paper towel. Okay, let's get on to our next step. 